What's up guys, Ivan Carranza here and today we're comparing three different bass straps. Now I have here the Mono Betty, the short version. I've got the Groove Gear Solo Strap Neo and this one is the Comfort Strap. It's installed here in Europe as the Marlowe Comfort Strap, but it's the Comfort Strap nonetheless. Now, of all of those, I've had the Groove Gear the longest and I've made a video about it, but I'm gonna put on a base and go through all the details and show you what I like, what I don't like about all the straps. But first let's start with the Groove Gear because this one is, like I said, the one I've had the longest. First of all, as you can see, it is very wide, so it distributes the weight of the base very nicely on your shoulder and it makes it so that it takes away a lot of the weight of the base. You barely feel that you're wearing a base, so you have a very heavy instrument. This is really good. And it is well cushioned, so it is fairly thick here. And it is just comfortable to play, especially if you play like function or corporate gigs or wedding gigs or you're playing for a long time, having one of these is really, really cool. What I don't like though is that, as you can see here, the way to adjust it is that you have this piece of leather and you move it around and you have to bolt it to these holes. So you're set in the degree of adjustment that you can do. You only can move the strap so far. So sometimes for some, some instruments, the perfect position is between the two holes and you're kind of stuck and you have to pick either a bit higher or a bit lower. You could of course just get a new leather strap or fake leather strap and you know, with custom made holes or make some holes of your own in the middle of the ones that are available and that would fix the solution. Then we have the Marlow or the Comfort Strap, which is made out of neoprene. You can see here it's a thick layer of neoprene. It is a bit stretchy. You've got this kind of seat belt adjustment here and some somewhat thin ends on the strap where you put around the pin. And this one is also very comfortable. You can see that the padding is, like I said, it's fairly thick, so it is nice and cushioned. The one thing that I notice here is that this is the short version, and I'm a short person, by the way. <laughs> uh, the short version, it is very short, like very short. Even at the longest position available, it is somewhat short, you know, the base ends up sitting somewhat high. For my luck, at the longest position and with my Dingwall Super P, the base sits exactly at the same position as if, it, as if I had it when I was sitting down. So that's just me being lucky. But I also ordered the long version, which is the next one, there's no medium. And what I noticed there is that, you know, in this case, you have one end that you can adjust, which is the end that goes to the body of the base. This end goes to the horn. And here you do not have any adjustments. On the long version, there is more material here, more of this seat belt kind of material, but you cannot adjust it. And somehow the base ends up always hanging a bit lower because of that. And I don't know why they couldn't include at least two adjustments or to keep it the same way here and just extend this end, but they decided to add some more distance on this end. And when I tried it, I could get it to the position that I wanted, to the height that I wanted, but because there was extra material here, the this plastic kind of like, I don't know how you call them, but these things that hold the adjustment together, 
I don't, I don't know if they're rivets or what. Let me know down in the comments if you know the word. And this part kept the adhering to my shoulder and I didn't like that very much, so I sent back the long version. Now recently I just got this mono strap. This is also the short version. And what I've noticed is that it is also nicely padded. It is fairly cushioned. It is not as wide as the Groove Gear, for example, but it still provides a fair amount of comfort. And what I like is that this one has a much usable adjustment range. It does have a bit more grip than the Groove Gear one, and it feels a bit stiffer, so it kind of feels like the instrument stays more in place when you're playing. The bass does feel heavier compared to the Groove Cure one because it is not as wide as the other strap, but you do have more flexible adjustment here because you have this buckle. That's a that's the word buckle <laughs> uh, to adjust the length of the strap. So I think this one's gonna stay with me um, because I've been testing different straps or different bases. I just want to keep. You know, each base with one strap and one strap length. So let's test all of them with my Super P and see, you know, how the base hangs and all of that. I don't have any strap locks here at the moment, but the plan is to put them at some point. So. As you can see, the base, you know, hangs pretty well. I can move it. It's a very comfortable strap, like I said, it's fairly wide here, so it provides a lot of comfort. but it does move a little bit. Not too much, but a little bit. So let's test the next one. Now this one has the most grip out of the three and I can feel it really grabbing to my t-shirt. And if I move, pretty much stays in the same place, which is pretty nice because I can just, you know, I don't have to worry about it moving. Now, like I said, this one is the one that feels the stiffest out of the three. Now, as far as pricing goes, the Groovy one costs about 70 euro here in Germany. The Comfort Strap goes for 65. And the mono costs about 50. So, depends how much you want to give for a strap, but I think that a very good and solid strap is definitely something worth investing to, or investing into, especially if you're playing really long gigs because you don't want to kill your shoulder, or if you have a very heavy bass. So if you like wide straps, I would definitely recommend you to get the groovy one because it's fairly wide very padded and it makes the bass feel extremely light. You do have to consider that the adjustment is somewhat limited and it takes some time to unscrew all the bolts, move it, put it back and so on. So that's something to keep in mind. If you prefer to spend a little bit less and you prefer to have the buckle adjustment, the Marlowe or the Comfort Strap one is a great option too. And you do have to keep in mind about the buckle on the other end. Like I said, maybe it's gonna bother you, maybe not. But overall, this is a very solid and comfortable strap. And if you want a strap that's not that expensive, but it still provides comfort and it's nicely padded, the mono strap is a great option too. I hope you guys liked the video. Let me know in the comments if you've tried any of these straps and also which one is your favorite strap. I'm really looking forward to testing this on the upcoming tour that I have, so I'm gonna keep you guys 
updated. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. And also, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the content that's coming to the channel. As always, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care. Mm -hmm.